Colin Patterson joined rehearsals for Cinderella at Southampton's Mayflower. Stop me cause I'm having a good time, having a good time, yeah. Rehearsals for Cinderella at Southampton's Mayflower Theatre, with a familiar face readying himself for his role as the wicked stepmother. Craig, tell us where we are. Well, we are in where all the dresses are, darling, where all these wonderful frocks, look at them. So if you put a bit of COVID weight on, darling, you'll need to have them extended, like me. Hey, hey. The 2020 panto season was wiped out by COVID, so Craig Revel Harwood is thrilled that this year everything is still set to go ahead. And he knows just how crucial this is for venues all around the country. Panto is so important to theatre as a whole because it provides actually the money that is necessary to get the theatre through the rest of the year, for the entire year. It will pay for that whole season. I'm talking about all the people backstage, the lighting, the ushers, everything, every part of it, the box office staff. I mean, it's endless. Are you ready, boys and girls? Yes! Then I give you Cinderella. Debbie McGee plays the fairy godmother. I think it would be really sad if we lost live theatre. So, um, you know, we just pray and hope that we all get through this winter. And those behind the scenes are just as worried. Last year was very, very painful. You know, pantomimes were closed down and lots of people lost jobs. People who had trained to be in the theatre business went and worked in shops or on building sites, came back into the theatre and lost their jobs at Christmas, so we can't have that this year. There are changes this year. Audiences are being asked to wear masks and most shows have axed the children's ensemble from the cast to reduce risks. But for many pantos opening in the next week, the cry truly is, don't stop me now. Stop now. Colin Patterson, BBC News.